It's finally happened. We can finally talk about the Samsung Z Fold 3 as if it is a real thing because it has finally, 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 finally been announced. And I know that we've seen the thing like quadrillion times, but Samsung's unpacked event has actually happened now and we have actual official imagery and details about the Z Fold 3. And there's a lot to talk about here, right? I mean, immediately. There's a lot to talk about here. But I do want to point out that I have affiliate links in the description down below. Pre-orders are live now. August the 27th is the date when things are actually going to get moving. So if you're considering buying the Z Fold 3 or the Z Flip 3, please use my links down below. It's going to help me out a ton. And the angle that I want to take on this, on this particular video is I want to lay out why I think that the Z Fold 3 poses a real threat to Surface Duo. So Surface Duo 2 more specifically. First and foremost, let's lay this out here. I am fully aware that Duo 2 is a dual screen device just like Surface Duo and that the Z Fold devices are not dual screen. They are a single folding OLED screen, okay? I appreciate this, I am fully aware of this. So before anybody wants to jump in on that bandwagon and say, oh, they're different products, they're different products, I get that, and I agree with you to a certain extent. In fact, I've made long videos comparing the productivity prowess of both of these devices, doing a versus type series with these things. I've covered this in depth already. And what I'll say to you is that in terms of multitasking, the Duo is better. It can do two things better than the Z Fold. However, it's not wildly better. Z Fold can split screen, and if you split screen Z Fold in this orientation, you get two two apps open that are about the same size and the same wideness, the same dimensions as on Duo. So they're very, very similar. And I know some of you won't like hearing that, but it is what it is. It's the truth. So before Duo was $1,400 and the Z Fold was two grand, right? Well, now these two devices, whether you like it or not, are getting closer together. Duo's adding a camera system, a proper camera bump. That's moving towards the Z Fold. The Z Fold is adding what? Stylus support and the price is coming down. They're getting closer together. Whether you like to talk about it or admit it or not, they're going to be competing with each other. So this has to be addressed. And I think that Samsung is making something pretty damn compelling right now. The biggest thing I want to talk about here is S Pen compatibility because this thing now has it. And this is a major, a major productivity boon for the Z Fold 3. To be able to draw, to be able to take notes, to be able to split screen while taking notes. These are all the things that Surface Duo is really good at. And now the Z Fold 3 can do this as well. And unlike with Surface Duo, if you have the Bluetooth Pro version of the S Pen, guess what? The buttons do stuff from range. You can take a picture with them and all these sorts of things. You know, like there's features with the S Pen on Z Fold 3, whereas with the Duo, I'm sorry, there's really not. It's just a pin. The buttons don't even work yet. Now, I'm hoping this will change with the Duo 2, but we can only talk about what we know right now. And you'll see in this clip, they're using whiteboard in Microsoft Teams because they are tightly integrated with Microsoft in a lot of these ways. That's a big deal. And I know that I said that the prices were getting closer together. Well, guess what? $17.99 for the Z Fold 3 is a really, really good price. This thing has come down by $200. Not as big of a jump as the rumors maybe early on thought that they could be, but it is a price drop. So basically what you have here with the Z Fold 3 is the Z Fold 2 with a more durable screen. They're saying 80% more durable. You are IPX8 water resistant. Now, not dust resistant. You don't want to throw it in your pool with chlorine, things like that, but it will actually resist water now. So more durable across the board. The materials are more premium. You're cheaper at the same time, and you have proper S Pen support. The cameras are the same, I get that. Some people might not like that, but that is there to bring that price on down. And look, it's the same skinny, narrow display as before, and I get a lot of people don't like that either, but it's funny to me that people will simultaneously say, I wish Surface Duo had a cover display so I can see my notifications, and then they'll turn around and say, the cover display on the Z Fold 3 is too skinny and narrow to get anything done. 
you can't have it both ways. Look, this is clearly not something you can't get anything done on. I use it all the time, but when you want to do something, you've got this. This is the main attraction. So why is a covered display something that you want here? You want it on the Z Flip, but you don't want it here. You don't want a big giant one here. I don't understand that. I, I don't understand that logic. This may sound crazy, but all this has done for me is made me even more excited for Surface Duo 2 because to me, I, look, I don't think Samsung is targeting Duo 2. I don't think that they see the Duo as like a huge threat. But by happenstance, just by the way the market is going, they are moving in that direction. The price is lower, the stylus is there. They're doing more and more work with multitasking, with split screen. They're partnering with Microsoft Teams and things like that. Integration is really good with, you know, look, OneDrive comes pre-installed on your Z Fold devices. So now we have to ask ourselves, how will Microsoft respond? Look, we know we're putting the big camera bump on the back to respond to their cameras. We get that. But what else can they possibly do? Will they have a slick case like the Z Fold has to have the, the slim pin there with it? Who knows? Will they have a slim pin that will have buttons that function? I hope so. This is all very, very fascinating. I love folding interesting phones. So guys, stay tuned for more coverage of Z Fold 3, Surface Duo 2, and the like. You better believe there's going to be tons of comparisons coming of these two awesome looking devices. And until then, stay nerdy, my friends.